just get punched in the face for thinking I'm just a YouTuber. This is fucking dirt. I don't give a fuck what you nigga, you, you right there. You with a fat ass mom that just walked past and shit. Yeah, you, yeah, your mom is fat as fuck, nigga. I'm about to talk in my comments. Suck my with your mother's mother's lip, nigga. Okay, YouTube, it's your boy, I'm Class, and you are now tuned into the Realist Reaction channel on the tube. But today, we're not going to be doing a reaction. Well, it's kind of somewhat a reaction. But we're going to be speaking on, it's a follow-up on the JD and the indictment situation that's been circulating and that I spoke about on my live. Jaquan Wise, better known as JD, OMB JD. We're going to be speaking on his situation okay he has several charges right now like i'm talking about more than one charge you know and before i even get into his charges i'm gonna get into the fact that i'm confused what made the police decide okay we're gonna go pick up jaquan wise on bjd Right? What is the reason they went to pick him up? What was the core evidence that they had that they said, yo, you know what? If we go get him, it'll stick and we can later on add on additional charges. What was the reason? Right? Like I said, he had several charges. So, I want to know which one of those charges was the main charge where they had enough evidence. Like, all right, you know what? This one charge right here, we got enough evidence, and we can go pick them up on this, and it would stick. Because you know that's what they need. You feel me? They need something that's going to stick. They're not going to just come pick you up over some bullshit. Okay, well, now, I got the charges. It's like a whole list of charges. You know, sometimes they charge you on different counts for the same thing, but it's like... Literally the same charge, the different count. But anyway, right? C felony, one count, not an arrest charge, not an arraignment charge, right? CPW, second, loaded firearm, indictment seven, weapon drug, gun other than a handgun, date added to 28 2020. So I'm, I'm that 228 2020 has to be his court date. It can't be the day he got arrested because we're not on 2820 yet. The month just started. But anyway, next one D felony, one count, not an arrest charge, not an arraignment charge. Description attempted CPW, second, loaded firearm, indictment count 14. Weapon and drugs, gun other than a firearm. Alright, I'm not a lawyer, and some of these penal laws, penal codes, and all these things, I'm not completely familiar with. Unless I've been charged with certain things, I wouldn't know exact in and outs to break it down for y'all. Like, some of the charges I would be able to tell you about because I've been charged with it before. But everything I'm not going to be able to tell you because I'm not a lawyer. But anyway... B misdemeanor, one count, not an arrest charge, not an arraignment charge, description, menacing in the third, indictment count 15, the date again is 2-28-20, okay, A felony, one count, not an arrest, not an arraignment charge, description, conspiracy in the first, indictment one, Date again, the same thing. Okay. D felony, one count, not arrest, not arraignment, reckless endangerment in the first. A reckless endangerment charge can be, it can vary because it's like several ways to get reckless endangerment. You can fire a firearm, get reckless endangerment. You could light a building on fire, get reckless endangerment because other people live there. You can fire a firework into a crowd. It's different, different. You feel me? But anyway, right? B felony, one count, not an arrest charge, not an arraignment. Rape in the first forcible compulsion. Whoa. Rape in 
the first. So that means right in the first, that means that Shorty might have told him. Correct me if I'm wrong. Don't quote me like I said I'm not a lawyer. But Shorty might have told on him and said that he forcibly raped her. Right? Indictment 89. What the fuck? 89? How many indictments did this nigga get? 89, right? Same day. Now, B felony. One count. Not an arrest charge. Not an arraignment. Description. Conspiracy in the first. Indictment two. Same date, again. Now, next, D felony, one count, not an arrest charge, not an arraignment, attempt CBW, loaded firearm, indictment 13. Weapon or drug, gun other than a handgun. Okay, got a lot of guns other than handguns. So what, what kind of guns did JD have? JD had weapons of mass destruction. Apparently that nigga might have been having some some machine guns or something because weapon other than a firearm That's not a firearm handgun. I might have said that in the beginning before firearm Mistaken firearm and saying weapon other than a handgun, but if I did now you caught on but anyway Weapon other than a handgun Some machine gun, you know shit like that like not a regular pow pow boom boom Grrrr, Shit, you know what I'm saying? But anyway Next, B felony, one count, not an arrest charge, not an arraignment, conspiracy in the first, another charge, D felony, one count, not an arrest, not an arraignment, attempted CBW loaded firearm, uh, I, I think I said that already, but anyway, E felony, one count, not an arrest charge, conspiracy in the fourth, indictment five, D felony, one count, not an arrest charge, not an arraignment, Rape, two, actor, 18, or, and GT, victim, fi 15. So I'm guessing that the female who was in question of being raped, allegedly, was 15 years old. I'm assuming. Indictment, 90. All right. C felony, one count. Not an arrest charge, not an arraignment charge. CBW, second, loaded firearm. This nigga got a lot of loaded firearm charges. What's going on here? Indictment, count eight. Right? Next, D felony, one count. Not an arrest, not an arraignment charge. Conspiracy in the third. Indictment three. All right. That was a whole lot of reading charges. I know now, listen, let's get to the juicy part. And the part that we really want to talk about. Okay. I've seen JD's Ops, which is, specifically speaking, Six Oblicky posted JD's arrested for rape. And he's celebrating and he's saying, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's cool to make fun of a nigga and shit like that. But I recall that that nigga was just in an indictment the other day. I never seen none of his Ops really celebrating in it. Um, quote me, don't quote me. If I'm wrong, comment in the comment section. Right? I did not see it. Right? But I see these niggas making fun of it. But in question now, same 6 0. Wasn't you just caught an indictment also? Everybody that was in the same indictment that you're in is still locked up, but you're on the road. Don't quote, don't quote, don't quote me. He might be snitching. Don't quote me. But anyway, now talk about snitching. I seen Famo Banger post on Facebook. He said, <laughs> yo, niggas in the precinct and they snitching. He talking about JD and them, mind y'all. Niggas in the precinct snitching. I got to keep my window open or something like that just in case I got to jump out the bitch. You feel me? So now he's worried that niggas might be telling and they might come and get him next. You feel me? But as far as New York goes, we have Takashi 6 9 like one of the snitches of the century. He goes back to being like one of the apples and all these other old niggas that was supposed to be street niggas that snitched. 6 9 is the main nigga. And, and being that it's New York, we cannot have so many snitches because it makes us look bad. Hashtag no more 6 9s. Right? We seen it happen to Rollo. Rollo went on an interview with, what is it, Vlad TV. Also, 
Hey yo, I went on an interview with Vlad TV. Both of them later got arrested. Now it's not more so Vlad TV getting niggas arrested. It's what they say on Vlad TV. But then again, I'm not gonna wrong them without wronging Vlad TV also, because Vlad TV tailors his questions and he wants the juicy points. He wants niggas to answer the juicy points. Right? So now he asks niggas questions that can, if they not smart enough to answer the questions correctly, they'll incriminate themselves. Right? Saying the wrong things. You speak too fast before you answer questions and shit like that. Get you incriminated. But that's what these rappers are doing now. Everybody speaks so fast. Everybody wants to come on the internet and say this and say that and answer questions based on clout, based on popular demand and what everyone that's watching would think and would say and shit like that. Okay. Now... Vlad TV doesn't care about you as an artist. He care about the lit content. I'm, nigga, most people do care about that. Especially when they don't have a background in the streets. They don't care if you get locked up. They would snitch on you if you did something to them regardless. So, they don't care if you get locked up. But as far as me now, I care because I'm from the streets. And I do somewhat follow some of the street codes. And the reason why I say some of the street codes, because some of them are dumb ass shit. For snitching goes, I don't condone snitching. I'm against all of that shit. But certain shit like a nigga be like, yo, that's your means. Your means beefing with that nigga, you're supposed to beef with that nigga too. That's some codes that I don't go by. That shit is retarded. To me, it's retarded. Feel me? But as far as snitching goes, <laughs> that's a dub. We don't condone that shit. Feel me? Because who remembers being child, being a child and one of your family members or somebody snitched on you and you remember how it felt, right? Didn't like it. So why would you condone snitching anyway? We don't want to have New York looking bad anymore with all these snitching situations that's going on. But remember, right? With this JD shit now. Remember, he was on live calling the police on his baby mother, which is Kima. Y'all know Kima for going on live, making viral videos, talking shit about people and shit like that. Him and Kima had an incident where they were arguing on live. And, well, not arguing on live. He locked out the door. She was banging on the door, et cetera, et cetera. He called the police on her. Whoa, whoa. Now, Kima might have something to do with this. Kima could have been out of spite because we know we got a lot of bitter baby moms. Don't quote me. I'm not saying that's what she did. I'm putting it out there because it's possible. Feel me? She might have, yeah, you know, this nigga did this, this nigga did that. Just like um, MV Kane shorty did to him. MV Kane is locked up because his girl. So it might be possible that the same thing happened with the man in question, JD. Jaquan Wise, right? His big moms could have been spiteful, trying to get even with this situation that happened with them on love. He said, he said, fuck his son. She, he violated his own child on that love. So she might have had some type of hate and could have something to do with it. She know his friends. She know where some of them live. I'm sure she done been around these niggas, done been with him to some niggas crib. Just like Envy Kane, Shorty knew some of his niggas and been to their crib. She was able to send the police certain places. So that's why certain niggas got locked up. Certain niggas got involved in certain shit. Because she might have known certain information. Not saying that Kima did that because it's a different situation with Envy Kane and Kima. Envy Kane, Shorty did it live so we know that she did it. But Kima might have did the same thing low key. But anyway, right? Now, I'm looking at it like JD now as an artist. His buzz is going to die if he goes to jail and do some time over this stupid shit. His buzz is going to die. He's not going to come out and be a 6ix9ine because he didn't hit the same stature as 6ix9ine did. He did not put out records that hit charts like 6ix9ine. So people are going to 
Forget about them. Especially the fans that niggas have in the hood are malleable children that don't really have any intellect. They just, oh, whoever talks tough, I like him. His music rhymes. He talks about this and he's disrespectful. I like him. He's a good artist. But sooner or later, those people grow up and now they notice, yo, shit you was talking about was bullshit. I don't like this shit no more. You feel me? <clears throat> you don't have a big enough fan base that's going to keep you alive. Like, 6 9 Says rapper, he's going to die down. And this is what I'm trying to tell you guys as fans. Y'all got to start understanding. You are not in the same situation with these fans, with these rappers. You are not in the street with these rappers. You're not getting shot at with these rappers. You're not going to do any shootings for these rappers. Well, maybe some of y'all might. But anyway, you're not, the majority of y'all aren't. Right? So now, you're saying these things in these comments. You're promoting these things in your statuses and you're doing all these things. And these artists is now getting influenced by your bullshit ass opinions. And they start thinking they need to please you guys. And they get stuck into doing the dumb shit that they, they've been doing that we see that get them in an indictment. And then you the same one who influenced his... His actions, because you boosted it, call him a dickhead. He's a dumbass nigga. Why that nigga do that dumbass shit? Nigga talk about, oh, he's shooting a nigga on camera. Oh, he putting this work in. But you were in the comments talk about, that nigga pussy. That nigga ain't gonna do shit to that nigga. Woo -woo. Now, you saying he pussy. Now, he decided he need to show you that he's not pussy. And he does certain things. And that's what's been going on now. That's why I tell I need to tell y'all and the, the fans. Y'all need to know. If you're not in the field, you're not actually putting in work. You from another side of the world or another state. You're speaking on people that you're never going to interact with on a one-on-one -on -one basis ever. If, if it does happen, it's very thin. And you're influencing them to do certain things, and these things happen, and they get indicted, and then you move on. Why are you doing that shit? Why are you in the comments? Why do you hate someone you never met before? Why do you leave comments in someone's comment section? You never met that person before, but you hate them. How could you hate someone you never met? Because he has beef with another person you never met. But you knew that other person first, or that person is more popular than that person. Now you pick a side and you hate one more than the other. Why? And then call these niggas dumb. I see a lot of rappers celebrating these things. This when you know a rapper's a bitch. Because why are you happy that your op is in jail? You should be mad that your op is in jail. Because now you don't have the chance to get back. You don't have the chance to do anything to him because he's safe now. What you gonna send a kite to your man's in jail? Come on, my nigga. Come on, bro. Stop the bullshit. I niggas gotta understand. It's mind over matter in these situations. These indictments come about because you guys make it possible. The police aren't that smart. You guys just assist them in their work. Y'all help them do what they do because y'all talk too much. You feel me? I don't know. A dickhead would comment in my comment section. But you argue with niggas on the internet. I have a minimum of what I say and do on the internet. I can entertain someone talking shit and I can talk shit back without making myself, without incriminating myself, basically. Because you say certain things and even if you never did certain things you said or you're not going to do certain things you said, they can use those same things when they put a charge on you. But look, he said this there. He said that there. Right? So you got to understand. You got to be smart. I mean, I will update y'all on the situation if it gets any further, if I get any new news on the situation. But... Y'all comment in the comment section below and let me know what y'all think about the situation, if y'all agree with what I said, and if it's certain point of views that I might have missed, 
And, you know what I mean? Y'all in the comment section, stop leaving the hate comments. And not, some of y'all not even in the streets, man. Stop the shit. It's your boy Upper Class. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a new video. <laughs>